No, wait. Please don't leave me behind. Come back. Come back. Hello, guys. I'm Orbiter, your Welsh engineer, and welcome back to Kerbal Quest. Series 2, Part 10. Kerbal's dressing it up. And dressing it up, we will. But first off, I did mention at some point we will send a probe to one of the stars, and that is what we're launching by here. Hopefully, it'll be successful. Now, the idea I've got for this, I'm not sure if it's going to work, but it's going to be the first attempt. We're going to send this probe to Joule, and we can use the massive gravity force of Joule, boost the rocket when we get to the uh, gravity well of Joule, and hopefully angle the X the exit orbit or the escape trajectory so then we head towards one of the stars now I've put a load I mean a load of Delta V on that but before we start that let's talk about this well I've been trying to build an Eve ascent stage because I wanted to do an Eve landing and ascent this is the only thing I have not achieved in the game and I almost did it I was 547 meters per second short on this one, but I think that booster was a bit too large. Anyway, let's get to Drez. Uh, things don't start off quite well. In fact, they go rocket flipping well. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of using Mech Jeb. Let's do a not manual launch. <laughs> For some reason, my tower design... I've got to call this the Sandcastle rocket. Because you can see it. We've got four towers on the top. It looks like a sandcastle, doesn't it? Do you agree, guys? <laughs> yeah, so basically, we're going to launch this to Drez. It's going to be sort of um, an attempt to see if we can build a large ship in orbit around Kirby, send it to Drez, because he needs, what is it, 7,000 meters per second to get to Drez, I think it is? Might be more or less that. But there's also return craft on it. I did forget something on this mission, which means I'm going to have to send something to these Kerbals to send them back home. Anyway, let's uh, get into comments. As we do in this series, you can ask you to be a Kerbal and I add your name, just mention mention what name you want to be, but make sure you say please can make me a Kerbal or mention say Kerbal in your sentence. That means way I can search, I can uh, I can use YouTube to filter the search results out and tell me which who wants to be Kerbal, who says Kerbal in their in their comment, I suppose. And also, I read people's comments out. Now, normally, I try to read them all out. If I've got too many comments, then I'll try to read the best ones out and or funny ones out, whatever. Anyway, let's get into the comments. But first off, before we do that, I do take Kerbals on the mission. And the Kerbals we have on this mission is... Brian. Joe's Barbecue Foot Manage, or Massage, I suppose you meant. Johanna's Joy King. JY channel, little pyro guy, exploding potato, Trent Vega, and Butter Biscuit Gaming. I have to apologize to Butter Biscuit Gaming because I forgot to add you Kerbal, even though you put Kerbal in your comments. Right now we're going for the launch for the second stage, and this is where I added Butter Biscuit Gaming Kerbal. I've got to add him to the game, completely missed his comment out, which I'm very sorry about that, but here we go. So I'm going to put you on this mission. And don't worry if you don't if you want to be on one of the missions to go to another star. All Kerbals will eventually begin be sent to another star. But first off, I want to sort of like pretend or role play. We we conquer the Kerbal system first, and then we go on to other star systems, as Captain Kirk would say. <laughs> anyway, let's get into comments from Jacob Mattison. As always, he says first. For some reason, the first comment always says first. Why is that? Is there a play going on YouTube or something? I don't know. But it's fun. <laughs> Just an ordinary guy says, Can't wait until you get to the closest star. Hope it will be soon. Ah, uh, yes. Once I do the maneuver to get to the other star, you'll see, or at least I prepare the maneuver note for that going to another star. You'll see how long it's going to take. You can accidentally right click on the trajectory and it shows you how many years. And anyway, for Rius Bishop. Hello, comment section. Hello, commenter in comment section. <laughs> From Assassin1275, ZZ123, Orbiter, what will you use, be used of this station? Oh, that was the uh, Duna station was the last episode, so yes. 
Well, the main purpose of Duna Station was one, for fun, two, for Kerbal, <laughs> and three, because I wanted to see if you can build, actually build using the large parts. Not only am I doing these missions for curbing cans, to go to new stars, discovering what we can and can't do, but also I'm just messing around with the new mod systems. Adding parts, seeing like this thing here, I've got a little ship in a little pod at the back with the engines to see if it'll explode. And we have Butter Biscuit Gaming there being irradiated by those lovely blue growing glowing engines. It looks like a comet from a comet from a distance. I might use this as a thumbnail. Might do, might do. There's plenty of good pictures on this that I could use for thumbnail. Anyway, from Sir Hoot, Sir Makut, Sir Hoot a lot Makut the 67th. Hi, Jack Secretary I reference. Do I get a cookie? Yes, you get a cookie. Oh yeah, and he ends up on Hoot. Yes, he was on about in the last episode. Someone asked me to add Booper Duper. And if you don't get that reference now, you never will. <laughs> And we're from Suhut Mahuk Lot 67 says, How do how to get first? Go to comments, type anything and send it and then edit it first. I don't think it works like that. It does come up with a time. I'm not sure if if you edit it, it goes ch time changes. But you can set the comments to show newest first, which mine might be set that I'm not sure. Um oh yeah, this is me. You can see the other stars there. I think that black one up there is a black hole. So I don't think we want to head to that one. But trying to get the trajectory right, trying to get towards one of the stars is difficult. I didn't realize it would be this hard. I thought it would be easy. Perhaps, I'm not sure we can set a course for the, our sun, use a large, larger gravity well, and slingshot ourselves around the sun to one of the stars. That might be better, more efficient. However, we have to put a lot of heat shielding. And I think we, ooh, yes, that looks good. It looks like, at looking at all angles, that we're going to head towards the purple star. Yes, the green kerbals are going to the purple system. That is good. <laughs> anyway, assassin one two seven three one two three said, oh, another comment for you. Also, orbiter, what happens when people go on a mission and the mission fails and the kerbals die? What do you do then? Oh, good question. Because you were one of the kerbals who died in the last mission because of the misengineering by some idiotic Welsh engineer and I don't know if you saw me accidentally right clicking it's gonna take over thousands thousands and thousands of years to get to the star so might have to build a mod or I'll probably do with this probe I'll hyper edit to the system into a large orbit and then what we'll do then is I don't know actually I haven't worked it out oh perhaps a warp warp um, mod so we can warp our Kerbals in a large ship. And yeah, I don't know what those rings were. Perhaps there's some sort of like advanced propulsion system to get us to Drez. Didn't work though, still use the same amount of fuel. <laughs> anyway, through Ethereal HD. All right, and your Kerbals will be respawned eventually. Because uh, the curb this is automatically set in the game. And anyway, from Ethereal HD, Smaglash. Also, do you mean nose cones? You mean those wind protection top over the thingies, midgies? Yes, them. That's what I was saying. I did say that, didn't I? Anyway, from Hurra, Hurricane Schmidt? Hurricane Schmidt, I think. Or Hur Hurricane? Hurricane? Kerbal, can you add me? Name me as Kai as a scientist? Yes, you can be. You will be a scientist. You will discover new ways. Perhaps you'll be one of the Kerbals who discover the warp core technology to get us to other systems. Or perhaps you'll be one of the Kerbals to get the mod on uh, building spacecraft. Well, uh, on a spacecraft. <laughs> work mod working. I don't know. I need to get that working for good to another star. And from Chris Yair. Rest in peace, those poor Kerbals. Boundless 8. I found mech chip can't fly most crafts unless you make them perfect. Man, Jeb kills more troubles than you can. <laughs> Probably can, but uh, I, my latest rockets, these ones I'm building, these big advanced ones, larger the rocket, it seems to be harder that MechJeb finds the control in it. It may be that I have to have the controls, the RTS and reaction wheels in the right place, but yeah, that's what I'll have to work out. Right, 
RoboDragon222 says, Finally, I've been hyped for this. Hi, Orbiter. I asked to be Kerbal a couple episodes ago, but I haven't been added. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I mentioned this to you. You're on EVA somewhere, it says on my thing. I'll have to sort of find out where you are. I don't know. Just because in the dialogue box, it just says you're on EVA, and that's it. From Kerbal Kill, can I go on the next mission? I will see you. Are you added as a Kerbal? I don't know. If you are, maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure where we're going next. I did jot it down, but I can't look at it now because I'm reading comments out. Space Explorer. No! Aircraft has died. Ep one episode. In died. No other Kerbals. And... So I have an idea. Do a space ritual as so the dead ones respawn and you can send them to another star system to finish them as they started. We did do a ritual. We killed Kerbals in the last episode, remember? And that ritual, killing Kerbals, bring Kerbals to life. See? Simple maths. One Kerbal equals one Kerbal. <laughs> uh, Festo One says, Man, really wanted to get in one of those your ships. Are you in this one? I can't remember. No, you're not. Don't worry. Did I see you in the next one? I did, didn't I? Did I put you in this one? I can't remember. Quick check. I didn't. I can't remember why I didn't. But you will be in the next one. After this one. <laughs> because I read the comments a bit later. You know, I read these to remind myself as well as the episode goes on. From Joseph M. That's a cool looking space tree. You could have one for every planet you land on. I don't think so. It would be awesome if you could build a, uh, <laughs> a solar panel tree uh, forest. That would be awesome. But the lag on your system will be terrible. Anyway, let's get, let's get these Kerbals landed. We've got Butter Biscuit Gaming and I put Exploding Potato on there. Because you need an Exploding Potato on a rocket. Nothing bad can go wrong with that. And I had to disable these tanks and I clipped them inside so I had to struggle. Yes, God, no. All right. I didn't. Ah, oh, well, um, you did not see this bit of this thing. Yeah, I thought it was all right because we had RCS on the other ships, on the large ships, and we won't be using most of that anyway, so yeah, it's, it's fine. You didn't see anything. Our best of bits of gaming, Booper Dooper is selling Jep Jep, this guy says. He's a famous YouTuber. He's, is he famous as me? Is he as famous as me? Oh, he's fa more famous than me, okay. Wait, did you add me on this mission? Yes, I did. See, you're on it. <laughs> I love that. reading the comments from last episode and then reading them up for this episode. <laughs> Confusing or what? Anyway, Greta Grill say, Yay, Duner! Did I kill your Kerbal as well? I can't remember. If I did, don't worry, they'll respawn. Anyway, from Alex Public or I really wish you made a UFO. I want to see how we're gonna how you're gonna build this. Should be fun and weird. If you want to be weird, how about a space sandcastle like we've built here? It's made from sand. Yes. Kerbals are that great. Megabot 3001, this is a comet. Megabot 3001, I've read your comet. Haha. <laughs> and RoboDragon222 said, reminds me that Kerbal Space Program is £20 or $30, but space trees are sold separately. Joanne Summer, I tried to recreate the ship and mission on KSP, I can get, couldn't get it to the at Duna lol. I didn't get a proper circularization from my last mission, I just didn't have enough Delta V. That's probably because the ascent, the launch, took a lot of Delta V because I went at a, a was it a steeper angle? No, a shallow, I went straight up more further before I'd done the angle over for orbit insertion or gravity turn. At a slow gravity turn. Is that what you? Is that the technical term? I don't know the space technical terms. I'm an engineer, not a space scientist. God damn it, Jim! Anyway, John Summer says, "I like how you read the comments. It really shows how you love to interact with your subs. I think it's awesome. I only done it because to, as filler for one of my episodes, but now I'm doing it for every episode. So I think it's cool. I think it's fun to play off the comments." Not many people really do that because uh, 
YouTube used to be a social site, now people use it as a TV site, so I think we bring back the, show, the social part of it. Anyway, Casper Gamer. LOL, you said my name wrong. It's Casper Game, not Keeper Game. <laughs> yeah, I probably did. I say a lot of things wrong. <laughs> uh, anyway, from Galakob. Gon Kalp. Lemos. Can I be a Kerbal? Love your braids. Yes, you can be. Everett Dalton says, Why did I make this comment? Just think about it. Well, I reply to you, and you, you think you made this comment? Really? You think you made this comment? <laughs> From the Sky Lord, you're a legend. To be able to launch a space station in one launch, I need about 10 to complete the space station. It took a while for me to get that launch right. Now, most of my time on doing this mission was taken up by building the e-stupid EVE launcher and still failing hundreds of times, but I have a good solution which may work. Or it will fail in the last disastrous hilarity. By the way, we're not going to EVE on the next mission. I'm going to leave that a bit more till I actually build the launcher. Anyway, from Xavier Curtius Kerbal. Also, can you... How come you didn't do anything on the collaboration station? I wish I did. No one asked me, but uh, that's okay because there's thousands of YouTube KSP YouTubers out there, probably as good, or if not as good as me. And yes, there are holes in the planet. It seems to be shaking. I think there's an earthquake. It's going to explode. It's you know, I'm not sure if this is going to explode upon landing. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Luna Coop says, rest in pieces, they will always be forgotten. <laughs> yes, that's what I said in the last episode. That the Kerbals will always be forgotten. Sky, uh, Sky Lord said, even in the game Harambe, can't escape death. Oh, that was another Kerbal who died. <laughs> Luna Coop said, oh no, John Media, have you tried Rapid Gas? No, I haven't. Fast Mar Martin says, do you mean fairings? Xavier says, oh no, I've read yours out. Don't worry, I'll do the Kirby. Shane Baldwin, large comment from him. Awesome stuff. Yeah, I had a bit of a chat with him on YouTube. Anyway, I have I have a comment on previous videos. But I have to say, KS, as one of the KSP old KSP YouTubes, I honestly find yours most entertaining. You can commentaries and humor is what makes it so good. Keep her up and great work. I know you previously made a comment about pronunciation of Duna. Duna. Or Dunar, as I say. Because I'm Welsh. It's meant for fun, fun. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I, li I like that people can you know, point this out to me. I think it's awesome. You know, they point out my mistakes and say, why didn't you do this? Some people sort of like, get really passionate about it. Like my launch video, I said, make sure the center of mass is the lowest point on the rocket. And then I said, mm, said, no, 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 you should go back to school. And they were very passionate about it. But pointed it out, I done a bit of research and I thought, oh, bloody hell they're right. What I said this video is wrong. It's a tutorial video. But he said, I'm an eco he's in Canada, right? And we all have kinds of funny ways of saying so words, even invented our own slang. Everyday language. Again, I know what you do is not easy. It's much is much more than just playing the simulation. I think you speak for all subscribers when I say I greatly appreciate your hard work. Now that was an awesome comment. Thank you very much, uh, Shane Baldwin. That's awesome. <laughs> anyway, from Moinak, Moinak, Mitra. I'm not sure if I said that. Cheers, he says. The randomizer. Hey, Orbiter. Just wondering, are you going to do the call? Are you going to do collaboration with other KSP YouTubers like Matt Lowe? I'd love to actually. I did plan to do them. Uh, server, multiplayer server, dark, but, but it was awfully glitchy, even on single player. So that went down the pan. And lastly, Araf Flockwenzer. Love your videos, and I'm starting to pick up on the Dunar, even saying M M Mana instead of Mars. Curse you! <laughs> also, can I have a couple named Akfar? Ak Akraf? Akraf? Akrof? An engineer, don't care where she goes, but please put her on the most daring missions. Took like an hour to muster the courage to actually comment. Oh, thank you very much, that's awesome. 
Anyway, guys, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. I've just shown off all the kerbals here. And we'll end off with the beginning of the video, with the Kerbal floating away from the spacecraft. Don't worry, he'll get back. Anyway, I'm Orbiter, trust me, I'm an engineer. No, come back, your man. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video.